Welcome back to Face to Face. I'm John Ralston. Phil Ruffin is the new owner of the TI, and he's joining us today on Face to Face. Uh, the question is, where is the gaming industry going, and where does it come from? Uh, I asked Steve Wynn uh, during that interview uh, uh, last week about the gaming industry and how it's done business in recent years. Here's what he had to say. We overpriced everything based upon a fictional notion that there would be no tomorrow. Okay, we're repricing the world now in a more intelligent way, a painful, to be sure, a painful dislocating process. But in the repricing, things don't get cheap, they get properly priced. And, and companies are better off for it. You agree with that? Yes, I think that's correct. The banks were exuberant. They were lending money like crazy. And uh, they were just stumbling over themselves to do deals. And it's not that, it's not that the, the hotels don't make money. They just can't make their debt service. So as, let's say a hotel is making 500 million a year. He still might be making 400 a year, but he, he, he balanced it. He, he put enough debt on that he can't make it. So it's a tough deal. But I, I think that um, the gaming industry in Las Vegas will come back strong. Las Vegas is unique. And uh, it, it, I think some of the other, other gaming venues around the country have, with very, very high taxes, uh, won't be able to compete. I think this. I think. I think we are unique. Uh, they have kept the taxes low here. So what did they do? They didn't send the money at other places. They rebuilt here, and uh, so that's kind of that's kind of the. But that exuberance you talk about, Mr. Ruffin, that the banks had. Certainly, some of the companies here uh, were overly exuberant to them. We're seeing uh, uh, the fruits of that too. In fact, Steve Wynn has talked about how he never built a property without having all the financing in place. These other companies amassed this huge amount of debt. Uh, MGM Mirage with 13 billion, uh, Harris Station, uh, all these companies. I mean, they were overly exuberant too, weren't they? Well, yeah, but you know, uh, at the Frontier, for instance, we had we have other hotels too and other properties, and and one of the major banks came in and wanted to loan a huge sum of money on the whole package, and it's very tempting to take that money, but then you you know you have to worry about can I pay it back. And I rejected all that because I don't like a lot of debt. So, uh, yeah, it was, it's bank's fault. The banks were, you know, when you're sitting at your desk and some guy offers you several billion dollars, you know, in free money at low interest rates, then uh, uh, it's tempting. And so, but we didn't, uh, we didn't go along with that. Uh, the question is, how do you come out of something uh, like this? If, you, if, you're, if you're a company like this, and I asked Steve Wynn, I want to get you, your take on what he had to say about, about the financial struggles facing some of these companies we've talked about. You can't uh, connive or manipulate or be clever or be cunning your way out of this. You can't promote your way out of this. This is a time when you conserve assets, which means your employees and your cash. This is a time when you go to your capital structure. If it isn't right, you're doomed. What, what about that? I mean, how do you get out of this? You think he's right? If you have a lot of debt, you have a lot of problems. You might have to restructure. And, uh, Explain what that means to the layman. How, how do you restructure and get well, out of it? Well, you go back to the banks. You go back to the banks and let's say they, they've loaned you a billion dollars, but you can't make that payment. Well, the banks don't want the asset. So you restructure it and say, look, we'll give you a piece of the equity and we'll pay you back $500 million. And that's, got, that's kind of how that works. That's a restructuring of the debt. Bankruptcy is a restructuring too, isn't it? Bankruptcy is an option, but uh, it's a tough option. You think it's going to happen to some of these companies? I don't know. I, I don't think, you know, it's, it's like if you loan a guy enough money, he, you're kind of pregnant. And so, you know, do you, 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 know, you, can, you can get yourself in a position where you, you don't want that asset back. So you're kind of forced to restructure it in, in talk terms. So, but bankruptcy is always an option. It's a threat. It's a threat to the lender. Because if you go bankrupt, he might get 10 cents on the dollar. Right. And then maybe he can negotiate a better deal. What about the issue of, of how badly Las Vegas has been hurt by the national recession? And is it disproportionate to, to, to the rest of the country? And the whole issue uh, that become controversial and, and maybe disproportionately so also of President Obama and these throwaway comments he made at a town hall meeting, suddenly getting this uh, national and international currency, don't go to Las Vegas on, 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 the, on the federal dime, that kind of thing. John, I don't like to talk about that, and I don't think we should talk about it here in Las Vegas because just let that slide. It was a stupid comment. He made it, you know, and even no one else should have amplified it. Don't you think that Mayor Goodman going on all the national and international TV made it worse? I don't think we should amplify it. <laughs> Let me put it that way. You're, I li I like, you're a diplomat. I like Mayor Goodman, you know, I, but I don't think we should amplify it. So we should it. just shut up about shut it. Shut up. All right, we're going to shut up for a few minutes and we'll be back with Phil Ruffin <laughs> from the TI. <laughs>